Uh, Sault Ste. Marie and Khalid Khatib uh, is finishing his uh, two, uh, sorry, 72 city town marathon in Ontario. His goal was to register 1 million people as organ and tissue donors. And he got pretty close to that. And tomorrow he's finishing his campaign uh, by carrying the torch for Nancy Sal Salvaggio. She needs a double lung transplant. And the torch that he's holding uh, was blessed by Pope John Paul II. So maybe if we can get a chance for everybody to hold it in a nice little tight group shot. Thanks very much. Khaled is going to light the torch now okay. and pass it to you guys. Okay. The three of you can hold it. For now. The, the mayor has promised not to be a hog with the torch, so she'll pass it. This is right at the height of my hair. <laughs> well, is everybody ready to do this? Okay. Okay, we can go at a very slow truck. A very slow... Slow, 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 slow. Walk, walk, sorry. Yeah, you're going too fast, Mayor. I could see you're you're a yeah. Okay, where's my live stream guy? Webcasting guy. Oh. Where's the webcasting guy? <laughs> oh, okay. We got to we got to get you up at the front. Uh We got to get you up at the front. Are you okay with this? Like Thank you. You're one of the uh, speakers, so you can grab a seat. Where's Melissa? Melissa. Is that because it's the Yeah. Um. Sorry, Mayor. Mayor, sorry. Uh, you can actually uh, have Valerie come up and say a few more words if you wanted to add her in. Um, Valerie from the. Valerie. Uh, Are you sure? Where is Jessica? <laughs> <laughs> Jessica and Andy, I'm looking for. Jessica? Have somebody else hold the torch. Andy? Get somebody and do the video. 
Okay, give me this. Can I have you up here? Wherever you are? Hi, Hori. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Andy. Aging Andy Tanella. for participating in the Torch of Life Walk for Nancy, being held right here in beautiful downtown Sault Ste. Marie. <laughs> this event is being broadcast live on www.torchoflife.com. They are officially finishing the 2012 campaign right here in Sault Ste. Marie today. The organizers have decided to dedicate this part of the campaign to support a local family, the Savalaggios. Nancy Savalaggio is a Sault Ste. Marie resident and who is diagnosed with idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis and hepta Where's my nursing friend? <laughs> Pulmonary liver disease. Sorry, Nancy, you don't need me to say that right, do you? In December of 2010, Nancy worked at the Plummer Hospital, VON, and at Community Care Access Center as a palliative case manager until her retirement, which was due to her illness. Nancy has been in Toronto since January, awaiting a double lung and liver transplant with her husband, Lou, those of us who know him, Louis the Lays, by her side. Nancy was given her entire has given her entire life to helping others and hopefully we can now help her. Yeah. This is not an easy journey and our thoughts are with them at this time. It is vital that we continue to raise awareness and support individuals and families that have to experience these traumatic and trying circumstances. I am your MC today, and for those of you who don't know me, I'm Debbie Amoroso, Mayor of this fabulous community. And at this time, I will be welcoming guest speakers to the podium. First, if I could have our MP, Brian Hayes. Thank you, Nancy. I don't think I've ever had the pleasure of meeting you. Someday I will. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the federal government, it's a pleasure to be here with you to celebrate and recognize the importance of organ and tissue donation in our community. One of our constituents and fellow Sioux resident Nancy Salvaggio, the reason we are gathered here today, awaits a double lung transplant. I would like to recognize the charitable organization that brought us together today, step by step, who has been advocating for the organ and tissue cause in Canada and throughout the world since 1997. There have been eight successful Torch of Life marathon campaigns in Canada, USA, and Europe. Notably, on September 5, 2001, Pope John Paul II blessed the Torch of Life at Vatican City and urged the youth to carry it. The Torch of Life is here today in Sault Ste. Marie and was brought to us by a famous young ambassador, 20-year-old Caleb Katib, who has carried it proudly in the Ontario Torch of Life Tour 2012 for the past 110 days. And then this was done in, in memory of Miss, Mrs. Betty Albright, late wife and organ donor of my dear colleague and friend, Mr. Harold Albright, MP for Kitchener Conestoga. And uh, he, he's an incredible man. Uh, someday I'll have him here to come to Sault Ste. Marie and tell you his story. Uh, he, he will touch your hearts. I am pleased to welcome Caleb Katib and Step by Step to the Sioux, and I am pleased that I have the opportunity to encourage Sioux and Canadians to actively participate in the organ and tissue donation process. 
And uh, today I actually went online because I know I filled out a donor card at one point in my life. And I went online and I am proud to say that I am registered. And uh, let that be a lesson for those of you who are here. Canada is seen as a leader in the area of transplantation safety. This is reflected in the fact that our standards are recognized by the World Health Organization. This is due in part to Canada's strong organ transplant community, as seen here today, and Health Canada's work in establishing rigorous safety requirements through the implementation of the safety of human cells, tissue, and organs for transplantation regulations. Why not help out one of those thousands of people who are currently on waiting lists for a specific organ? Many of those waiting are still in the prime of life. Organ donation can make the difference between life and death. The decision, which may not be easy for some, can be lightened by knowing that someone could receive the gift of life, the most amazing gift anybody can give. Thank you very much. Thank you, MP Hayes. Next, I would like to call George Marcello, CEO of Step by Step and the coordinator for today's event. George? Sorry, my shoelace. Uh, I wanted to uh, first tell you what happened yesterday. We were in Toronto at the Queen's Park Media Room. Uh, and uh, Lou was there, but Nancy wasn't, uh, because she, she felt ill uh, yesterday morning and they had to rush you to the hospital uh, yesterday morning. Um, and Lou was there to uh, courageously talk on her behalf. Um, so the sad part is, is that uh, she's not getting better. Uh, she's, she, her, her health is deteriorating as we speak. But um, she is watching what's happening here today. And I know that what you guys are doing here today is, is going to help her keep on. This is, this is what's going to help her keep her alive so that, so that we can keep her alive long enough until her gift does arrive. So I re really want to thank you guys and I know that her and Lou and everybody else that's watching this are, are so thankful as well. So on behalf of everybody, thank you guys. Thank you guys for coming in. Thank you, George. If I could have Khalid Khatib, torchbearer who recently completed a 71 city town torch tour in Ontario, come to the podium, please. Where's my speech? Uh oh. You got to add lip. Just say what's in your heart, Khalid. Oh, you got it. <laughs> I know those moments. Today, I finish my 7020 CP in Ontario, and now I say I love Canada, I love Ontario, I love Sioux. On April 6, when I was in Kitchener, I killed when I hear that Ellen Campbell receive it here lungs transplant. I remember how who I how I feel when I seen the Israeli children who received my brother Ahmed Ortiz. I want to carry cry again and hear hear, hear that Nancy will receive her gifts. It has been an uh, my English, it's not uh, yeah. An honor. Honor to cry the torch of life for pity in her memory. I love MP Harold Albright and his family. I am now. I pray for this year. Pray. Preparing. Pre preparing to walk across Canada. I want to help. Over 4,000 Canadians. I want to thanks for Field Hotel and Boston Pizza 
I want to thank everyone here. Please register on torchoflife.com and be a donor.ca. And thank you and God bless you. Thanks. Thank you. Now we will hear from Jessica Merlino, who will be in need of a heart transplant. If somebody could take over the laptop for her. Hi, my name is Jessica Merlino, and I'm hoping to prove the mayor wrong. Uh, 17 years ago this week, I collapsed for the first time on the basketball court. No one knew what was happening to me, including myself. I'd been an athlete my whole life, I was in great shape, I ate healthy, I exercised daily, and I had a healthy family, with the exception of my brother, who also collapsed on the basketball court the year before. It turns out, my brother and I are extremely lucky. Last year, after 16 years of episodes in varying degrees, many tests, and many doctors, I was finally diagnosed with ARVC, arrhythmogenic right ventricle cardiomyopathy. The reason I say we're lucky is because 70 to 80% of the families affected by ARVC find out about it through the death of a teenager, playing a sport or exercising vigorously. The death at that point would bring about an autopsy where the disease is found. The rest of the family would be tested, and more often than not, other siblings, parents, family members will be diagnosed with the disease. ARBC is a very progressive disease, and on very simple terms, what it does is deteriorate the heart at a very unpredictable rate. Some hearts deteriorate very slowly, which is what we're hoping for. Others need transplant quite soon after being diagnosed. The heart at that point is already in such rough shape that without a transplant, there is no life. This disease affects the young, and more often than not, it is athletes who die, because it's difficult to diagnose on an ECG alone. My brother and I continue to live fairly normal lives with medication and an implantable cardioverter defibrillator. I no longer play the more intense sports, such as hockey and basketball. I do keep in shape with slow jogs, walking, and cycling, and I have modified my diet drastically. However, even with a healthy lifestyle, there's no predicting how fast my heart will deteriorate, and so far there is no cure, and there is also no proof that by changing my lifestyle, it will slow the progression. Each of my daughters, I have two, has a 50-50 chance of carrying the gene and therefore having the disease. Since their progression is also unpredictable, I'm here to express to you how important organ donation is. I'm asking you to make it a topic amongst your friends and your family and to make your request of organ donation well known amongst the people around you. To register to be a donor, you can go online at beadonor.ca. From January of this year to September of this year, there have been 57 heart transplants and 77 lung transplants, but there are still 57 patients waiting for a heart and 75 waiting for lung. This does not even account for the successful transplantation of other organs and the patients waiting for other organs. Some, like Nancy, are waiting for multiple organs, where all organs have to match in order to be a candidate. Obviously, with statistics like these, there will always be a need for viable organs. Therefore, stressing the importance of registering to be an organ donor. I'm like Nancy in many ways. She was healthy, never smoked a day in her life, and yet here we are, so patiently waiting for the new lungs that she needs. I was fit, healthy, a non-smoker. I'm not the picture of heart disease, and yet here I am speaking to you, living with heart disease. Just like our diseases, it's impossible to predict if and when someone you love will need an organ. I'm like Nancy in another way. We're both strong, stubborn women who will fight to survive and make other people aware of our causes.
mother, Arlene, died of pulmonary fibrosis at the age of 55. Her younger brother, Buddy, also diagnosed with pulmonary fibrosis, received a successful bilateral lung transplant in early 2010. After multiple weeks in hospital and extensive testing and invasive procedures, it was finally decided that Nancy's deteriorating respiratory status warranted a multiple organ transplant of both lungs and liver. Nancy and her loyal husband, Lou, had to leave their home and newly acquired cottage to move to Toronto in January of this year. They have now been waiting nearly eight months away from their family and friends. Both Nancy and Lou have been very strong during this very stressful time and are both very grateful for the intermittent visits, ongoing telephone and email support of many loving family members, friends, and colleagues. During our childhood years, growing up in Bayview, we shared many life experiences, including skating on Mike Zook's rink, boys, dating, weddings, babies, and now our precious grandchildren. Never did we anticipate this challenge in our lives. Nancy is now desperately fighting to continue to enjoy these well-deserved years we thought we would enjoy the most. As nurses, we have a mutual passion and respect for our healthcare system and a special interest in patient access to care. After many years of nursing, both in hospital and in the community, Nancy truly understands the importance of access to care for all patients, including those acutely ill, dealing with chronic disease, and those requiring palliative care. The importance of having access to health care you need, when you need it, has always been a challenge, especially for us in the North. Despite her severe illness, Nancy must work hard maintaining her health by regular participation in physiotherapy. During these hospital visits, Nancy and Lou met Helene Campbell, the young Ottawa 22-year-old, who was finally successful in receiving her lungs earlier this year. As did Helene, both Nancy and Lou have been very involved in increasing the public awareness and participation in organ donation. Being the nurse that she is, she continues to advocate for not only herself, but for the many others who are in desperate need of organs. It is very difficult to think that someone's death is required for someone else to have a chance to live, and many of us avoid the thoughts of our mortality. But after hearing Nancy's story, which mimics the story of many others, we hope that you will consider becoming an organ donor and ensure your wishes are known. Thank you. Thank you, Debbie. Has Andy been able to arrive yet? Andy was to speak to us today, and he is another individual in need of a kidney transplant, so we do wish him well. I would like to thank all of the guest speakers. We have learned from you, and you have inspired us. In many communities already, there have been challenges through their participation with the Torch of Life to sign their donor cards. Right here in Sault Ste. Marie, 39% of people that hold health cards have registered as organ donors. I'm told that if we reach 50%, we would lead the province. So I challenge you, our very generous community, to give by becoming an organ and tissue donor. The city of Sault Ste. Marie is celebrating its 20th anniversary, and as we reflect over the last 10 decades, the generosity, kindness, and helping hands that are always extended by the people of this great city gives us our reputation of a caring community. I'm encouraged to see here, you here today and to help advocate for such life altering and critical causes. I would like to extend a thank you to the OLG Casino for partnering with this event and acknowledge the Torch of Life and the charity step by step for their efforts. On behalf of City Council, I wish you all that are waiting good health and best wishes. And Nancy, our thoughts are with you and Lou, and we hold you in our hearts today. Thank you for coming.
Um, if anybody wants to talk to uh, Nancy still, the live stream will be open. Uh, so, yeah. oh, thank you. So in case you didn't hear, the live stream is open for anyone that wants to give a personal message to Nancy. Hi, Council. You don't remember? Yes, I do. <laughs> I was going to say, do you remember me? Of course I do. <laughs> I was actually going to acknowledge you, but the mirror no, kind no, of no. coming off a little bit. I taught Lou Savalagio in grade six. Oh, okay. okay. My name is Ari Raif. I happen to be involved with Step by Step. And we are here to support Nancy and Lou. My name is Beth Osborne, and I am the general manager of the residence in by Marriott. So if you have problems to explain, don't worry. Tfadal. Thanks. <coughs> Hello, everyone. Today I finished the Ontario campaign. Today I carry the torch for Nancy and tomorrow in here city of Son Summary. Good morning everyone. My name is Lou Savlagio. I'm from Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario. Uh, um, Ari, thank you so much for your honest words. Uh, they were very meaningful and actually are quite reflective of uh, uh, the situation of today. Thank you very much. Beth Osborne from the Marriott in downtown Toronto. From the very moment we, we arrived here at um, uh, the beginning of January, we really didn't know, didn't know what to expect. The welcome that we have felt, the family atmosphere that they have created for us, they have done so much in so many ways and has made our stay in Toronto through this very difficult time a lot better than, than we could ever have imagined. So, Beth, thank you so much. i also like to thank uh, George, and Khaled, who I've had the opportunity to meet um, and thank them so much for doing this step-by-step uh, -step in Sault Ste. Marie. Really, there isn't words to describe uh, how much we appreciate um, what you folks are doing for us. Tomorrow we have a scheduled march with Khaled in Sault Ste. Marie. Lou and Nancy's family and friends and colleagues and co-workers will be joining. I can only hope that tomorrow's uh, event reaches more people, pe people outside of Sault Ste. Marie. Mm. It gets out to people all across Ontario so that more and more residents get registered. And I hope and I pray every single day that Nancy's life will be saved by one of those registered donors. Thank you. And tomorrow he's finishing his campaign uh, by carrying the torch for Nancy. watching this just to let anybody know if anybody wants to say something or Hi, Nancy. We miss you. We miss you. We love you. Go ahead, say anything you want. Anybody get in. Look how cute your teacher now. Your grandteacher is beautiful. Cheers, Nancy. Oh, your mom. Your mom's coming on. Where's Nancy? Yeah. Hey, Mary. It's a live webcast. She's watching. She's. I can't see. 
Yeah. No, no, let's see just what oh, she okay. sees. You're looking oh, at what she wait, sees. Dave. <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> I got your shirt on, Nancy. <laughs> hey. Hi. Oh, you should have a picture there. <laughs> this is just she can see what you see. I can't see you, but yeah. we love okay. you. Okay. So the reflection with well, the reflections yeah. just happened. Get some more groups here. <laughs> All we see is ourselves. Yeah, there should be a little bit on the bottom. There should be somewhere in there. Hi, Nancy. Hi, Nancy. Hi, Nancy. <laughs> How you doing, Nancy? <laughs> Taking it home. <laughs> Hi, Nancy. Just so you know, Gloria really, really misses you. <laughs> oh, I miss you, Nancy. I miss you terribly. <laughs> Hi, Nancy. <laughs> This is Nancy right here, Hi, if Nancy. anybody wants to. Nancy's on this right now. She's watching. Oh, I see. So, so. Can you see it? Is it, Hi, is it up? Yes. It's okay. Up. Can I say hello? Yes, certainly. Please do. Hi, Nancy. Jen Hodgkiss, remembering you from VON. I hope you're doing all right, gal. We're all got the same prayers for you. Okay, here we go. We're back here at, uh, we go. We're at the front. We're leading the way. We're leading the way. I'm going to give it to you. Got a nice crowd here. Nancy and Lou's watching. They are officially finishing the 2012 campaign right here in Sault Ste. Marie today. The organizers have decided to dedicate this part of the campaign to support 
support a local family, the Savalaggios. Nancy was given her entire has given her entire life to helping others, and hopefully we can now help her. Yeah. This is not an easy journey, and our thoughts are with them at this time. I am your MC today, and for those of you who don't know me, I'm Debbie Amoroso, mayor of this fabulous community. One of our constituents and fellow Sioux resident, Nancy, Nancy Sotomayor, the reason we are gathered here today awaits a double lung transplant. The torch of life is here today in Sault Ste. Marie and was brought to us by a famous young ambassador, 20-year-old Caleb. He's watching what's happening here today. And I know that what you guys are doing here today is, is going to help her keep on. This is, this is what's going to help her keep her alive. So that, so that we can keep her alive long enough until her gift does arrive. So I re really want to thank you guys, and I know that her and Lou and everybody else that's watching this are, are so thankful as well. So on behalf of everybody, thank you guys. Thank you guys. For coming. Thank you, Joe. Now we will hear from Jessica Merlino, who... I'm like Nancy in many ways. She was healthy, never smoked a day in her life, and yet here we are, so patiently waiting for the new lungs that she needs. I'm like Nancy in another way. We're both strong, stubborn women who will fight to survive and make other people aware of our causes. Long time since we graduated in 1974. Think of you often and hope this uh, helps uh, bring you uh, some uh, brightness to your day and good luck with everything. Guys, eh? God bless you, okay? Hi, Nancy. Hope you're doing well. You look very good when that in the newspaper when I saw it last night. Good luck. I hope a good your gift comes soon. Just be strong, okay? Just be strong, right? Me, Nancy, just me. Me, Nancy. Wishing you the best. You know that my love. Every day, my prayers and happy and positive energy is always being sent to you. This is a wonderful, wonderful event today, Nancy. Well done. It's so wonderful, and well done, and we hope that it ends up with the results that we want: more organs, and especially your lungs and your liver. I love you. 
Hey Lou and Nancy, um, Jerry, are, Jerry and I are here to support you today and uh, uh, we're going to continue praying for you that things go well. I think that uh, you've helped uh, make people more aware today and that's a great thing and we're anxious to get both of you home soon so you can enjoy your, your cottage, hopefully in peace and quiet. Praying for you both guys, love yous. I'm uh, here with uh, Jerry and Marilyn. Marilyn and I are working together now. Anyway, good luck and best wishes again, and we think of you off. Take care, both of you. Hi, Nancy. I hope you remember me, Teresa Savellick from Bayview. And um, I just came out to support you, and I wish you all the all our best wishes for my husband and I, and all uh, all good luck. Okay, Nancy, we'll be praying for you. Okay. Bye -bye. Louis and uh, Nancy, uh, it was great seeing you a couple weeks ago, and uh, hope to see you again. And uh, uh, Louis will uh, send up some more uh, super sat and uh, kielbasa sometime soon, okay? So I wish you guys all the best and uh, we'll talk again, okay? Thank you. Hi, Nancy. Hi. Hope you're doing, hope you're doing good. Uh, thank you to you and you're in our prayers always. Hope to see you soon. Bye bye. Hi, Nancy. How you doing? Your house is doing good. We're keeping an eye on it for you. Me neither. I can't see her. All I see is us. Hi, We love you. Love you. Love you. Miss you. See you soon. Thank you very much. Hi, Nancy. Hi, Nancy. And uh, Lou, your favorite grade six teacher, says hi. S stick with it, both of you. Love you. Hi, Nancy and Lou. It's Susan Myers here. And Nancy, I'll never forget all your kindness for us with my family, with mom and dad. And uh, we're all thinking and praying about oh, you. Okay. And uh, we're lifting you up. And just keep on looking up. We love you. Bye now. So, you know, um, this, we were really moved by this turnout, uh, Khalid and I. And uh, we know uh, that this was meant to be because we know that Khalid is going to pass you the torch, Nancy, uh, without the oxygen tanks, remember? We, it will, it will, we have to, it will, it will happen. Um, so get prepared for that, get prepared to carry the torch without the oxygen tanks, okay, Nancy? Yeah, thank you. Okay.
Um, okay, so is there somebody that can walk with us yeah. carrying this? Yeah. Uh, sure. This is the camera. So like what you see here is what everybody's watching. Uh, and it actually, you just have to go like yeah, that when yeah, that happens. Yeah. And, and so, you know, just kind of, and there's a two second delay. Okay, so um, we're, you're seeing back this way, the camera's here pointing out? Yeah. So do you want me to, you want it into the crowd? Yeah, sort of like, thing. Like, like, like in like that? Yeah, like, and kind of just letting, like pretending that this is the camera and everybody out there is watching what you're showing. So it's hard can, to see without my glasses. No, I know, I know. I got it a always pair makes of, it difficult when you see I got a pair of... Uh, Mike, do you have... Are your glasses... Um, can you see the screen better with our glasses? Are they? So you can't see them. I can't see the screen at all. So you can kind of get well, an idea, though. Same thing, same Yeah, difference. this is what everybody's watching, okay. what, what you see here. Okay. And so uh, there's a lot of people watching right now as we speak on yeah. our website. Um, okay. So... I'll get, uh, Jeff, I'll get Jeff here to do it. He's a security manager. Okay. Jeff, do you want to do this? I'll think what am I doing? Um, you're just sort of going to carry the... Are you going to walk with us? Yes. You, uh, uh, I you could. Need to go, you yeah, want to go need, all the way? Yeah. Um, I'll have to see if we have... I can do that. I'll have to go change my shoes. Can I shoes? Other shoes? Because we were all staying here, we didn't know if we were coming or not. Uh, Any two minutes, I'll find something. Oh, okay. That'll be okay. I know that's my goal. Call it. You got a volunteer? He's got a volunteer. He's got a volunteer. Right. Okay. Uh, okay, so this is the uh, camera. This is the webcasting. So everybody is going, and there's a lot of people. There's probably up to a thousand people that are watching this live. It's live. And and so the cam what you see here is what they're going to see. Okay. And sometimes when it goes out, you just touch this and then you can see it again. So the camera's over here. Yeah. And then, but you can't turn it the other way to see can't put the camera uh, on the other side. No, this doesn't turn. Yeah, uh, maybe if you know Max. I don't. They don't have it there. No. no. So you're gonna have to turn it on its yeah. side and carry so, it. Yeah. So yeah, it's kind of just you get the you kind of get the feel of what you can. Yeah. You know, once you were to put it on what level. I just thought you'd be the most techie guy around. <laughs> <laughs> And when you come back, I'll have a little gift for you. When are we going golfing? I'm going to the tournament. Are you? Uh, at, uh, Why would you this month? I'm in the chamber. I'm not, I haven't golfed yet this year. Not once. I'm in the tournament. Because we're remodeling the house, so yeah, I'm still not. Okay, what do you want me to do? Um, so, uh, Who are you with so I can give them this? Uh, these guys over there. Okay, so right now Nancy's watching, the okay. lady that needs the, uh, and, and um, a thousand other people. Okay. So do, do, you, do you mind if like you're the DJ or you're the uh, kind of, you know, welcome everybody? Uh, like you're the oh, no, somebody else will do the walk. Oh, okay. The okay. Welcome. So, so <laughs> you don't want me to. if you can just like to kind of show, you know, yeah, like kind walk of around. Show, Yeah, walk around and, and let people. Back, leaving mm. me in my car across the river. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let people know that this is live, and if okay. anybody wants to say anything to Nancy, because okay, she's watching. <laughs> Everybody, Nancy's watching this, just to let anybody know if anybody wants to say something. Or... Hi, Nancy! Hi, Nancy! We miss you! We miss you! We love you! Go ahead, say anything you want. Anybody get in? Look how cute your teacher now! Your grand teacher is beautiful! Cheers, Nancy! <laughs> Oh, your mom's Where's Nancy? Yeah. Hey, it's a live there. webcast. She's watching. She's. I can't see. Nancy. No, no. Let's see just what oh, she okay. sees. You're looking oh, at what she hi, sees. <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> I got your shirt on, Nancy. Anybody up? Up and leave. Hey. Want to say hi? Oh, you should have a picture there. 
<laughs> you see? You're sure she can see us? Yeah, well, that's what I'm told. <laughs> We're not just talking to a blank screen. No, no, no. No, no. There's, there's oh, okay. the picture, sorry. Oh, okay. And this is just, she can see what you see. So he is waving, too. I can't see you, but yeah. we love you. Okay. I can't see with the reflection, with the reflections, just nothing. That was nice of you to do that. I'll take it over here. Get some more groups here. If any, Nancy's watching this, if anybody wants to wave, say hello, and say hello. Okay. 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 This is Nancy. <laughs> All we see is ourselves. Yeah. Yeah, there should be a little thing on the bottom. You could, should be somewhere in there. Hey, Nancy. Hi, Hi Nancy. Hey, Nancy. <laughs> How you doing, Nancy? Okay. Uh, good luck on your journey today, and good luck to everybody with the walk. Thanks very much. Okay. Hollywood is going to light the torch now. Okay. And, uh, <laughs> Taking it home. <laughs> Hi, Nancy. Just so you know, Gloria really, really misses you. <laughs> oh, I miss you, Nancy. I miss you terribly. <laughs> Let's walk, Nancy. Hi, Nancy. This is Nancy right here, Hi, if anybody wants to. Nancy's on this right now. She's watching. Oh, she... so that's, uh, can you see it? Is it, up? Is it up? Yes. It's okay. Up. Can I say hello? Yes, certainly. Please do. Hi, Nancy. Jen Hotchkiss, memory from VON. I hope you're doing all right, gal. We're all got the same prayers for you. Okay, I'm just going to catch up to the group. Okay. Are you okay with this? Yeah, yeah. People just talking. Carry my bag if you want to. What do you want to do? You want to? Yeah. You go where you want, but yeah, I'm kind of more used. <laughs> okay, here we go. We're back here at the uh, go. We're at the front. The way. We're leading the way. I'm gonna give it to the work group. Hi, Nance. We love you. We miss you. We're gonna go up here. Okay. Call it. Call it. Come to the front. Watch the tree. Watch the tree. Call it. Okay, we can look at that. It's like green light. You gotta help with some pictures.
Sorry about. Okay, now we'll stay steady with this. Say hi to Nancy. Hi Nancy. Hi Nancy. Hi Lou. Hi Nancy. Lou, hey. Say hi to Nancy and Lou. Hi Nancy. 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 We got a nice crowd here. Nancy and Lou's watching. Hi guys. Nice day. Lots of people. Oh, we got a picture of you coming up. How are you? They're both watching. Lou and Nancy's both watching. Here's a nice picture of you. Both you guys. Is that both? Is that Lou and Nancy? Yeah. Or is yeah. It, okay. Nice. Love you. Yeah. Love you. Wow. You're probably crying by now. This is really awesome. Oh, beautiful. This is Sault Ste. Marie. Beautiful Sault Ste. Marie. Call it. If the torch goes out, refill it, eh? Just showing you beautiful Sault Ste. Marie. Oh, uh, Beth, if you're watching, they, Melissa says hi. They treated us really nice there, like all Marriott's do. Oh, don't worry, don't worry. Where's your pictures? Okay. Go back up at the front. We usually do this with the truck, but have to do it.
So this is the famous Sault Ste. Marie boardwalk. So we're we're walking to we're walking to uh, City Hall at twelve thirty. The speeches begin there. I could smell the water. If you guys, Lou, Nancy, if you remember the smells of uh, the boardwalk. The smells are coming on strong right now. Really great turnout. Really nice turnout. Is that a... That's a... I better get out of the way. Do we got the torch? Is that a photographer guy? Where's the torch? Torch has got to be at the front. Bring the torch to the front. Uh, I don't think that's going to happen, George. Bring the torch to the front. Bring the torch up. Torch up. Run with the torch to the front. Yeah, if somebody could run. Hurry up. How did it get to the back there? Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> okay, who's got the torch? Okay, bring it up front. Can you run? <laughs> who's got the torch? Uh oh, who's got the torch? Was it getting past? Okay. Oh, okay, okay. Who, okay, can we get a fast runner to bring the torch to the front? Who's, do we got a runner here? Okay, who can run with the torch to the front? Can you? Okay, if you can pass the turn. Okay, the torch is coming to the front. It's coming to the front. Call it! Call it! Up at the front! Run. Run. <laughs> okay, Mayor, can you hold just for one moment? Mayor, Mayor Amoroso, hold up, hold up just for a minute. Call it. Torch is on the run. And Mr. Hayes? Yes. If you can come to the front. Oh, sure. Valerie? <laughs> Valerie? <laughs> Up at the front. Up at the front. And Valerie, Valerie, if you can come up to the front. Valerie? One second, Valerie's just comes. Okay. 
Okay, you, you ready? Okay. Okay, we're good? Yeah. Got some good ones? Wow, this is very beautiful, Sault Ste. Marie. Panorama. It's actually a beautiful day for a walk. Oh, oh look at that. Colin, he's taking a picture of you. Brian Hayes carrying the we're torch. We're going to go right up to the street and stay on the sidewalk. So we're not zooming over a hill over there. Do I'm tired? Okay. <laughs> yes, sir. Where's the camera? code for you've got it so city hall. I figured that. Uh -huh. Going to the sidewalk. <laughs> I put the, the gear there. Okay, now, now I'm starting to get the spot. Almost there. Yeah. Probably the most exercise I've had all summer. In Ottawa, I walked miles. Back I, uh, and forth. That's where? I walked, or I rode my bike down here on Sunday for the labor event. Oh, yeah? yeah? Yeah. So I did the whole thing this morning with the T to T group. Yeah. And I was like, okay, seriously, you guys, you're riding 140 kilometers a day? I killed myself riding from the West End to here on Sunday. And they were talking about the hills that they did. I went up a street and over the tracks on the Carmen's Way, so I didn't have to do the underpass. Yeah. And that
Yeah, you want to sit it right on the seat here is good? Have I seen him? No. Do you want to say anything 
Somebody else hold the torch. Get somebody to do the video. Nancy, it's Purette Brown. Long time since we graduated in 1974. Think of you often and hope this uh, helps to uh, bring you uh, some uh, brightness to your day and good luck with everything. On www.torchoflife.com. the charitable organization that brought us together today, step by step, who has been advocating for the organ and tissue cause in Canada and throughout the world since 1997. There have been eight successful Torch of Life marathon campaigns in Canada, USA, and Europe. Notably, on September 5, 2001, Pope John Paul II blessed the Torch of Life at Vatican City and urged the youth to carry it. The Torch of Life is here today in Sault Ste. Marie and was brought to us by a famous young ambassador, 20-year-old Talon Katiba, who has carried it proudly in the Ontario Torch of Life Tour 2012. 110 days. And then this was done in, in memory of Miss, Mrs. Betty Albright, late wife and organ donor of my dear colleague and friend, Mr. Harold Albright. MP for Kitchener-Conestoga, and uh, he, he's an incredible man. Uh, 
someday I'll have him here to come to Sault Ste. Marie and tell you his story. Uh, he will touch your heart. I am pleased to welcome Caleb Katib and Step by Step to the Sioux, and I am pleased that I have the opportunity to encourage Sioux and Canadians to actively participate in the organ and tissue donation process. And uh, today I actually went online because I know I pulled out a donor card at one point in my life, and I went online and I am proud to say that I am registered. And uh, let that be a lesson for those of you who are. Canada is seen as a leader in the area of transplantation safety. This is reflected in the fact that our standards are recognized by the World Health Organization. This is due in part to Canada's strong organ transplant community, as seen here today, and Health Canada's work in establishing rigorous safety requirements through the implementation of the safety of human cells, tissue, and organs for transplantation regulations. Why not help out one of those thousands of people who are currently on waiting lists for a specific organ? Many of those waiting are still in the prime of life. Organ donation can make the difference between life and death. The decision, which may not be easy for some, can be lightened by knowing that someone could receive the gift of life, the most amazing gift anybody can give. Thank you very much. Thank you, MP Hayes. Next, I would like to call George Marcello, CEO of Step by Step and the coordinator for today's event. George? Um, I wanted to uh, first uh, tell you what happened yesterday. We were in Toronto at uh, Queen's Park Media Room, uh, and uh, Lou was there, but Nancy wasn't uh, because she she felt ill uh, yesterday morning, and they had to rush her to the hospital uh, yesterday morning. Um, and Lou was there to uh, courageously talk on her behalf. Um, so the sad part is, is that uh, she's not getting better. Uh, she's, her, her health is deteriorating as we speak. But um, she is watching what's happening here today. And I know that what you guys are doing here today is, is going to help her keep on. This is, this is what's going to help her keep her alive. So that, so that we can keep her alive long enough until her gift does arrive. So I really want to thank you guys, and I know that her and Lou and everybody else that's watching this are, are so thankful as well. So on behalf of everybody, thank you guys. Thank you guys for coming out here. Thank you, George. If I could have Khalid Khatib, torchbearer, who recently completed a 71 city town Torch Tour in Ontario. Come to the podium, please. You gotta add lift. You gotta wing it. Just say what's in your heart. Uh, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I know those moments. Uh, okay. Today, I finish my 7020 city in Ontario, part 10. Um, now I say I love Canada, I love Ontario, I love Sioux. <laughs> On April 6, when I was in Kitchener, I killed when I hear that Ellen Campbell received her lungs transplant. I remember how who I how I feel when I seen the Israeli children who received my brother Ahmed organ. I want to carry, cry again and hear, hear, hear that Nancy will receive her gift. It has been an... Uh, my English is not... Uh, yes. Honor. Honor to cry the torch of life. For pity in her memory, I love MP Harold Albright and his family. I am now, I pray, what is your, pray, preparing, preparing to 
walk across Canada. I want to help over 4,000 Canadians. I want to thank for Bill, Hotel, and Boston Pizza. I want to thank everyone here. Please register on purchaselife.com and be a donor.ca. And thank you, and God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Now we will hear from Jessica Merlino, who will be in need of a heart transplant. If somebody could take over the <laughs> laptop for her. Hi, my name is Jessica Merlino, and I'm hoping to prove the mayor wrong. Uh, 17 years ago this week, I collapsed for the first time on the basketball court. No one knew what was happening to me, including myself. I'd been an athlete my whole life. I was in great shape. I ate healthy. I exercised daily. And I had a healthy family, with the exception of my brother, who also collapsed on the basketball court the year before. Turns out, my brother and I are extremely lucky. Last year, after 16 years of episodes in varying degrees, many tests, and many doctors, I was finally diagnosed with ARVC, arrhythmogenic right ventricle cardiomyopathy. The reason I say we're lucky is because 70 to 80 percent of the families affected by ARVC find out about it to the death of a teenager, playing a sport or exercising vigorously. The death at that point would bring about an autopsy where the disease is found. The rest of the family would be tested, and more often than not, other siblings parents, family members, will be diagnosed with the disease. ARVC is a very progressive disease. And on very simple terms, what it does is deteriorate the heart at a very unpredictable rate. Some hearts deteriorate very slowly, which is what we're hoping for. Others need transplant quite soon after being diagnosed. The heart is, at that point is already in such rough shape that without a transplant, there is no life. This disease affects the young, and more often than not, it is athletes who die. Because it's difficult to diagnose on an ECG alone. My brother and I continue to live fairly normal lives with medication and an implantable cardioverter defibrillator. I no longer play the more intense sports, such as hockey and basketball. I do keep in shape with slow jogs, walking, and cycling, and I have modified my diet drastically. However, even with a healthy lifestyle, there's no predicting how fast my heart will deteriorate, and so far there is no cure, and there is also no proof that by changing my lifestyle, it will slow the progression. Each of my daughters, I have two, has a 50-50 chance of carrying the gene and therefore having the disease. Since their progression is also unpredictable, I'm here to express to you how important organ donation is. I'm asking you to make it a topic amongst your friends and your family and to make your request of organ donation well known amongst the people around you. To register to be a donor, you can go online at beadonor.ca. From January of this year to September of this year, there have been 57 heart transplants and 77 lung transplants, but there are still 57 patients waiting for a heart and 75 waiting for lungs. This does not even account for the successful transplantation of other organs and the patients waiting for other organs. Some, like Nancy, are waiting for multiple organs, where all organs have to match in order to be a candidate. Obviously, with statistics like these, there will always be a need for viable organs, therefore stressing the importance of registering to be an organ donor. I'm like Nancy in many ways. She was healthy, never smoked a day in her life, and yet here we are, so patiently waiting for the new lungs that she needs. I was fit, healthy, a non-smoker. I'm not the picture of heart disease. And yet here I am speaking to you, living with heart disease. Just like our diseases, it's impossible to predict if and when someone you love will need an organ. I'm like Nancy in another way. We're both strong, stubborn women who will fight to survive and make other people aware of our causes. Thank you for being here to listen, to support the Savalaggio family, and to bring our stories forward. Thank you so much for your support and all you do.
say these words, Jessica, but I hope I'm wrong too. Thank you. And now Debbie Greystone, who is a nurse from Sault Ste. Marie, but also a very good friend of Nancy's, will say some words. Nancy is now desperately fighting to continue to enjoy these well-deserved years we thought we would enjoy the most. As nurses, we have a mutual passion and respect for our healthcare system and a special interest in patient access to care. After many years of nursing, both in hospital and in the community, Nancy truly understands the importance of access to care for all patients, including those acutely ill, dealing with chronic disease, and those requiring palliative care. The importance of having access to health care you need when you need it has always been a challenge, especially for us in the North. Despite her severe illness, Nancy must work hard maintaining her health by regular participation in physiotherapy. During these hospital visits, Nancy and Lou met Helene Campbell, the young Ottawa 22-year-old, was finally successful in receiving her lungs earlier this year. As did Helene, both Nancy and Lou have been very involved in increasing the public awareness and participation in organ donation. Being the nurse that she is, she continues to advocate for not only herself, but for the many others who are in desperate need of organs. It is very difficult to think that someone's death is required for someone else to have a chance to live and many of us avoid the thoughts of our mortality. But after hearing Nancy's story, which mimics the story of many others, we hope that you will consider becoming an organ donor and ensure your wishes are known. Thank you. Thank you, Debbie. Has Andy been able to arrive yet? Andy was to speak to us today, and he is another individual in need of a kidney transplant, so we do wish him well. I would like to thank all of the guest speakers. We have learned from you, and you have inspired us. In many communities already, there have been challenges through their participation with the Torch of Life to sign their donor cards. Right here in Sault Ste. Marie, 39% of people that hold health cards have registered as organ donors. I'm told that if we reach 50%, we would lead the province. So I challenge you, our very generous community, to give by becoming an organ and tissue donor. The city of Sault Ste. Marie is celebrating its 100th anniversary, and as we reflect over the last 10 decades, the generosity, kindness, and helping hands that are always extended by the people of this great city gives us our reputation of a caring community. I'm encouraged to see you here today and to help advocate for such life-altering and critical causes. I would like to extend a thank you to the OLG Casino for partnering
coming with this event and acknowledge the Torch of Life and the charity step-by-step step for their efforts. On behalf of City Council, I wish you all that are waiting good health and best wishes. And Nancy, our thoughts are with you and Lou, and we hold you in our hearts today. Thank you for coming. In case you didn't hear, the live stream is open for anyone that wants to give a personal message to Nancy. Nancy, all the best. Nancy, I'm going to see you someday. Take care. Good luck. Thinking about you guys. We'll talk soon. Take care. Love you, Nance. See you soon, eh? See you on the 22nd. Yeah. <laughs> Can you see us? <laughs> you know what? You're the ultimate advocate, and we're here for you. Talk to you later, Nancy. All the best to you guys, eh? God bless you, okay? Hi, Nancy. Hope you're doing well. You looked very good when that, in the newspaper when I saw it last night. Good luck. I hope a good, your gift comes soon. Just be strong, okay? Just be strong, right. <laughs> hey, Nance, it's just me. Me, Nance, wishing you the best. You know that my love is with you every day, my prayers. And happy and positive energy is always being sent to you. This was a wonderful, wonderful That's event great. today, Nancy. It was well done. so wonderful and, and well done. And we hope that it ends up with the results that we want. More organs and especially your lungs and your liver. I love you. Hey, Lou and Nancy. Um, Jerry, are, Jerry and I are here to support you today. And uh, uh, we're going to continue praying for you that things go well. I think that uh, you've helped uh, make people more aware today and that's a great thing and we're anxious to get both of you home soon so you can enjoy your new cottage hopefully in peace and quiet praying for you both guys love yous i'm uh, here with uh, jerry and marilyn marilyn and i are working together now anyway good luck and best wishes again and we think of you often take care both of you Hi Nancy, I hope you remember me, Teresa Havelik from Bayview, and um, I just came out to support you, and I wish you all the all our best wishes for my husband and I, and all uh, all good luck. Okay, Nancy, we'll be praying for you. Okay. Bye bye. Uh, yeah, one second. Louis and uh, Nancy, uh, it was great seeing you a couple weeks ago, and uh, hope to see you again. And uh, uh, Louis will uh, send up some more uh, Super Sat and uh, Kabasa sometime soon, okay? So I wish you guys all the best, and uh, we'll talk again, okay? Take care. Hi, Nancy. Hope Hi. You're doing, hope you're doing good. Uh, we're thinking of you, and you're in our prayers always. We hope to see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye. Hey, Nance, how you doing? Your house is doing good. We're keeping an eye on it I for you. Me neither. I can't see her. All Hi, I see Nancy. is us. Hi, Louie. We love you. We love you. Love you. Miss you. See you soon. Say hello to Nancy. Hi, Nancy. And uh, Lou, your favorite grade six teacher, says hi. S stick with it, both of you. Love you. Hi, Nancy and Lou. Susan Myers here. And Nancy, I'll never forget all your kindness for us, with my family, with mom and dad. And uh, we're all thinking and praying about oh, you. Okay. And uh, we're lifting you up. And just keep on looking up. We love you. Bye now.
somebody from above that would make an make arrangement. Make an arrangement. Like that. <laughs> there you go. You know, it's a divine well, good arrangement. Good to see you again, George. Uh, see you in another Bye 10 now. years. <laughs> Take care. Well, we're at about 75%. Yeah. Yeah. You and I Brian always Hayes. have trouble Thanks. with these shoes. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Bye -bye. Where's no. everybody? They're just gone. Okay, that's all now. Oh yeah, is that? Wait, wait, wait. Let's you just, want to say something? Yeah, I just want to say something. Um, so, you know, um, this, we were really moved by this turnout, uh, Khalid and I, and uh, we know uh, that this was meant to be because we know that Khalid is going to pass you the torch, Nancy. Uh, without the oxygen tanks, remember, we we, we, it will, we it will. will, we have to, it will, it will happen. Um, so get prepared for that. Get prepared to carry the torch without the oxygen tanks. Okay, Nancy. Okay, thank you. Okay. No, bye -bye. that's all. Bye, bye. Stay here. I bring my bag here. Yeah, sure.
beats of the dying hearts Grow feet if it's not too late We can cure the desolation Of the families who Imagine a child removed from the choice Imagine her alone and screaming without a voice Caught between the prophets, the greed and the lust And the thing that matters most is love to all of us Must find a way to start over again Let's find a way to start over again. 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 We 